Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for February 13th, 2024. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you guys are well and excuse me, well and safe today. Just keep in mind, Cancer, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, so this message may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that do resonate for yourself and leave the rest for someone else. Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform. Whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? All right, Cancer, I'm going to do a little bit of a different reading for today. I'm going to do your energy and the person on your mind, okay? And then I'm going to see anything that we don't see coming or see anything else that we need to know at the end, okay? Also, I do a Cancer readings every single Wednesday, so make sure to come back next Wednesday for a reading from myself, okay? Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, show me the cards that I need to see for Cancer today, please. Show me the energy that I need to see for that cancer, please. Show me that cancer energy, please. Show me that cancer energy, please. One, two, three, four. Overall energy for cancer, please. One, two, three, four. One more. One, two. All right. All right, so there's something that you're not, like, um, you're having a hard time moving on from something, Cancer, okay? Um, you're missing the point. You're having a hard time moving on from something, Cancer, because, like, uh, you know that if you move on from it, it's, it's going to leave you emotionally unfulfilled, like you're going to be unhappy with it, okay? You feel like um, there's something that needs to be resolved or cleaned up, so to speak, in order for you to be able to move on from whatever this is, okay? Um, what is this, though? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, show me the cards that I need to see for Cancer today, please. Now this reading is for you, your energy, and then the person on your mind, the person on Cancer's mind. So for some of you, it might be a person, okay? But it doesn't have to be. Clarify this situation for Cancer, please. Um, what is it that Cancer is having a hard time walking away from? What is it? One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Is something that, um, okay, well... <laughs> That doesn't really clarify. All right, so we got the Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. It's something that you're holding on very tightly to. So it would be pretty easy to understand or figure out from that. Okay, it's something that you uh, have a lot of... You've worked very hard for this, okay? You've worked... You've put up a lot of time, energy, and effort into it. Okay, with the Four of Pentacles, you've, like, um, worked on this for a while. But the... The thing is here, whatever you're holding on to is blocking you from a new beginning, okay? Um, it's like a new beginning or a new venture, some kind of new course of action with the Ace of Wands here. Okay, let me see Ace of Wands really quick. New beginnings, enterprises, calculated risks, or taking renewed action after a period of rest. It is the energy similar to the Sun and Aries and it's inspirational and highly motivational. This card also often signifies opportunities that you have to jump at and actions that require physical effort. All in all, very positive, but it can be combative due to its emphatic and forceful energy. The reason that it's combative also is because you have to let go of something in order for this Ace of Wands to come in. So like, and Spirit wants to uh, make this, I mean, especially whenever you look at how the cards are, okay? Like the Ace of Wands is coming in for you. It's like right there for you, Cancer, but you're holding on to something too tightly. Like, uh, and that's very important to know and also keep in the back of your mind that you can't, that um, spirit won't allow something new to come, come in for us unless we let go of something that we know that we need to let go of, okay, in order to make room for whatever that is. Because sometimes there's not room for the new opportunity and the thing that you're holding on to. So um, what else do we need to know about this situation? What's the overall energy for Cancer, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, one, two, three, four. Let me get three cards this time. One, two, three, four. Okay. Page of Wands reversed. Queen of Cups reversed. And the Hangman reversed. Okay. 
some of you might have kids with the other person. It might be an emotionally like uh, manipulative person that you have kids with, okay, Cancer, or um, someone that's like really emotionally all over the place. All right, but why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, why is the hangman here with this? It's like the, the hangman in the upright represents like getting a new perspective on life, okay? In the reversal, it can mean having the same perspective that you've always had on it, okay? So maybe you're looking at this situation like it's a, okay, and that flipped over. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, yeah. I feel like you're looking at this situation in one way. I feel like you're seeing this maybe as like your end all be all, okay? But with the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups in the reversal, you're dealing with someone that's like a, a little materialistic, okay, someone that really cares a lot about money or material things, and also they're like a little um, emotionally manipulative and kind of all over the place as far as emotions go, okay, so, uh, I mean, if it's not them, it could be how they're perceiving you, Cancer, so take it as it resonates because this is supposed to be the Cancer energy side, but I feel like it's someone else, I mean, we don't have, um, we do have the Queen of Cups in the reversal, which is, you know, water, so it could be how they're perceiving you, which I'll read the Queen of Cups reverse for you really quick, okay? A woman whose emotions tend to escape her control on a regular basis. Additionally, her sanity may come into question. Potential for drug or alcohol abuse. Potentially jealous, unreliable, dishonest, and dangerous to herself and those around her approach with caution. So I feel like the... Uh, that's the perspective either someone has on you or the perspective that you have on someone. It might be a younger fire sign for some of you, okay? Or you might be younger than the person, or you might just have kids with the person, either way, okay? For some of you. So show me the um, person on Cancer's mind, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel. Show me the cards that I need to see for the person on Cancer's mind. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more, please. One, two, three, four. Okay. Actually, one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Dang. <laughs> so the person on your mind is showing up as the Queen of Cups reversed, okay, which is what we just got over here, and the Four of Pentacles in the upright, which is what we just got over here. You got someone that's like basically mirroring you, okay, or you got someone that is willing to call out a lot of your flaws, maybe, okay, or like things that they don't like about you, but they're, I feel like they're not really seeing that, that, that they are, um, they're kind of looking in the mirror maybe okay like and, and you know one thing is important to remember cancer is that we we don't manifest what we want in life we manifest what we are okay so um i learned that from vince at 70 tarot you can check out his channel okay i, I try to mention him to on on this channel is every time i use a quote from vince or if i use a quote from chris at minnow pond tarot all right, or Sovereign Energy, if I say anything about his channel, I'll always quote them because I want them guys to get the recognition, okay? But yeah, I learned that from Vince at 7D Tarot. You don't manifest what you want in life, you manifest what you are, okay? So I feel like this is someone that is literally like a, um, it's a mirror image for like, if you're seeing things about this person that you do not like, okay? There's things about yourself maybe that you need to look, uh, look at because um, there's, things that they are showing you. Okay, so what else do we need to know about this person for cancer, please? I mean, and it doesn't always have to be like that. If you're seeing things that you don't like about this person and you're no longer like that, like maybe you've raised your vibration enough cancer to where you're just seeing things that's like the old you or like things like maybe that you used to be like, it's time for you to move on. And that's something that you could be holding on very tightly to, okay? You could be holding on very tightly to this, but at the same time, you're meant to move on from it. So that way you can manifest someone that is on a higher vibration that is more your level. Okay, so clarify. Um, what else do I need to see for the person on Cancer's mind? Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. Whoa. One more. One, two, three, four. I'll pick that up in a second. Okay, it actually gave me two more, but that's okay. That'll work. We have the High Priestess in the reverse. Okay. Justice in reverse and Four of Swords in the reverse. Okay, hidden motives, superficiality, confusion, short sightedness, and ignorance. Okay, justice in reverse, bias, false accusations, injustice, intolerance, irresponsibility, and dishonesty. And then Four of Swords reverse, continuing despite dire stress, laziness, exhaustion, restlessness, stuck, unwillingness to rest. Okay. This is like, I mean, I just did the reading for Aries and for Virgo as well. Cancer and 
for pretty much every single reading that I've done so far, I'm getting a big energy overall of just like leveling up. Okay, I feel like the people, you know, that the people that I'm doing readings for, I feel like for myself, for the people in general, I feel like we're all leveling up in some kind of different way. Okay, I feel like the uh, things that, that we're doing here is we're raising our vibration as a whole. Okay, and I feel like the people that are refusing to raise their vibration or refusing to change anything about themselves, I feel like those people are getting left behind. Okay, and I feel like they're uh, going to be stuck with like, hey, you have the option to either raise your vibration or don't. But if you don't, then the people, you know, the people that are working on themselves, the people that are working hard, the people that are trying to be a good person or to be the best version of themselves, those people are going to move on because they don't resonate with you anymore. Okay, so... Is there anything else that I need to see about this person on Cancer's mind, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? And this doesn't necessarily state anything about a relationship. This could be um, someone, I don't know, like a friend that you don't know, like you don't resonate with anymore, maybe a family member, um, or someone that you just like carry a lot of love for, okay? We don't even necessarily have love here, okay? This could just be people in your energy. <laughs> Uh, I am picking up on that a little bit though. There's been, I mean, we are right before Valentine's Day as well. That might be why I've been picking up the love energy so much. But, you know, what What else do I need to see for this person on um, Cancer's mind, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? Let me get one more for One, two, three, four. There we go. The Hermit and Queen of Swords in the Reversal. So, uh, Queen of Swords in the reverse is kind of like the energy of like a pathological liar. So you might be dealing with somebody that's like a, that lies a lot. <laughs> right? uh, we also have the Hermit Virgo energy. All life's answers are within you. This is also a card of maybe uh, this person might be depressed, like uh, either depressed a lot or they just might like to spend a lot of time indoors, okay, or like away from other people. You might be dealing with somebody that's like a Hermit in general. Okay, like uh, maybe that's why you spend so much time with this person, Cancer, because you know they don't have a lot of people in their life or something like that, and you know, you're trying to give them the benefit of the doubt or something. Like maybe they're gonna, I don't know, change or be nice because that you're around them or something like that. Okay, so is there anything that Cancer does not see coming? Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see for Cancer today, please. What does Cancer not see coming? Okay, is there anything that Cancer does not see coming that we need to know? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Show me the cards that I need to see for Cancer as far as is there anything that Cancer does not see, see does not see coming that we need to know? Let me get one more for. One, two, three, four. There we go. Six of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Okay. So your end goal here is you're going to be moving on from this or at least moving on from something that is like, you see these choppy, chaotic waters onto the calmer waters, okay? And then whenever you move on to this, you're moving on to seeing what options that you do have cancer, okay? Um, and it's like you, you won't have these options forever, but you do have a lot of options as far as you know, new new job or like a new new people in your energy that you can choose from as far as like going on a date with or like uh, new options in general as far as like something to choose from and that are good things. OK, like, you know, um, I'll read the seven of cups for you, actually, just because it does say strike while the iron is still hot. It, mean, it means that you won't have all the time in the world to be able to uh, choose these things, but you do have choices. OK. You have opportunities and possibilities before you. The world is at your feet, whether you know it or not, and you may even be overwhelmed by the choices you face now, but a choice is called for and the clock is ticking. This is a very fortunate card. This is a very fortunate card as you have options, but the pressure on you to choose and act may be overwhelming. Take a deep breath, do some quick research, decide what you want most from life right now, and strike while the iron is still hot. If you wait too long, the moment will pass and the opportunity may be gone choose but choose wisely okay so you're moving on from moving on, i got it. it could be this person <laughs> but you're moving on from something and moving towards the options that you have and, and figuring out what is out there that is better for you that you can choose from to be like hey this is nice you know i got this you know i got that option i got that option this is good you know is there anything else that we need to see for cancer as far as what they do not see coming holy spirit holy angels is there anything else that we need to see let me get two more cards one two three four okay the Empress. Every, I feel like everybody's got the Empress. Wow. <laughs> um, being in your Empress energy, okay, the Empress does, it's like a very much a pregnancy card, but there's no, there's no other indicators as far as 
pregnancy being uh, significant here. So I feel like this is just you being in your empress energy, okay, male or female, it doesn't have to, it doesn't really matter. And being decisive, okay, two of swords usually is a card of needing to make a decision, okay, or having a decision to make. But to me, in this reading, I feel like it's you being decisive because you're in your empress energy, okay? I will read the two of swords. Someone feels like they're at a um, stalemate with you in a way because you're in your in, in, because you are in your empress energy, and I feel like they're like I'm not even sure what to do about this. They don't know how to move forward with you, but I mean it's already showing me that you're moving on, okay? And you're seeing what other options that you have. So, all right, I'm not gonna do the big Bubba Mac portion of the reading today, but I am gonna get a message from the ancestors oracle card for you, Cancer. To see what your ancestors have to say about this situation. Whoa. Ancestors, spirit guides, God, angels, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Cancer today, please. Boom, 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 boom. spirit guides god angels archangel michael show me the cards that i need to see for cancer today please let me get one more four one two three four well now what now was it one more one two three Jesus. one more time one two three four there we go all right hero and courage is your card for today hero and courage Let's see what your ancestors are trying to say to you today through me drawing this card. They are saying, you are being called to a quest, one that will one that will require you to tap into your courage as you embark on what will prove to be a life-changing passage. It is not about eliminating any fears or uncertainties, but about accepting these feelings and considerations and in spite of them heeding the voice of spirit, that has been calling to you for some time through signs, omens, and that inner intuitive voice that has become increasingly prominent, though you... Why did I say that weird? Okay. Though you may hesitate, you know in your heart of hearts that you really have no choice. It may be a geographical move, a change in a relationship, a creative project for which you feel unprepared or something that shakes the very foundations of what you have come to believe. You can ruminate, negotiate, equivocate, and come up with various reasons and justifications for remaining safe and secure in your relatively predictable life patterns, yet the call persists. Trust that you are never alone and have available to you the guidance from this ancestral spirit simply by asking you will accomplish your quest yes you will especially with that six of swords right there moving towards the options and the choices that you have in your life is looking very good for you cancer okay all right cancer this is going to be the end of your reading for today make sure to check in next wednesday for another reading from myself hope you guys have a happy valentine's day and everything is great for you tomorrow all right Make sure to check out New Age Lifestyle in the bottom of the description box below and anything else that you need to know about me will be down there as well, okay? Love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, love yourself first.